wrong? It's Philip. He's mean. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Yolly boy. Don't cry, man. I'm the tear fairy, see? I don't like seeing them go to waste. You're a... a fairy? I am, and a proper tidy one at that. You talk funny. <laughs> That's how fairies talk, sweetie. But it's goofy. Oh, is it now? Well, I wish I'd known that before I made him for you. Nobody made him. He's my friend. Of course he is. I'm sorry. And I'm sure he'll always be your friend, no matter what. Come on now, don't be such a crybaby bunting. What would Mr. Drippy think? I'm not a crybaby bunting. Then you'd better dry those tears, hadn't you? Hmm? Hello, Austin. How are you doing, beautiful? Oh, how I can ever thank you, Batch. This saved my life, you did. We're just happy to help, ma'am. And we're glad the little E's are safe. Just finished and did. What'd you have for dinner? But are you alright now? You did have a giant jellyfish inside of you, after all. Oh, is that what it was? I thought it was a squid. Us fairies love a bit of seafood, see? And it looked big and juicy. I just couldn't help myself. You mean... That's right, Batch. I swallowed it straight down, I did. What? There we were worrying that she'd been attacked by Shadar, and it was all because she was too greedy for her own good. Look at... Look on the bright side, Swain. It means the reason <clears throat> was much less serious than we thought it was. Shadar, you said. Wherever, where have I heard that name before? Shadar, Shadar. Oh, him. You know Shadar, ma'am? Nope. <laughs> she talk taking? I know that word, and that's not an appropriate word. <laughs> Sorry, love. Of course I know him. He's the one who's been flying around my head, causing all types of mischief. Proper little terror he is. Smiley. Surely. Get your bottoms over here. We're here. We're here. Keep your hair on, man. What is it, ma'am? Stop flipping shouting. World famous chicken Greek wrap? That sounds... Delicious. I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow, and I think I might have to pick stuff up for that. Can you two boys go and take a look over by Shadar's castle for me? What? Not bad, love. Not bad. I thought you'd lost your comic touch. What a reaction. Found your form again. You have. There's lovely. This ain't a part of our flippin' act. You just asked us to go to Shadar's castle. What kind of reaction did you expect? We can't refuse, ma'am, though. Can we? We best go and have a look. Crikey. You don't take much convincing, do you? Yeah, ma'am. But I think about Ollie Boy in that they helped us out good and proper, isn't it? Though at least we can do is return the favor. Here you go, being noble again. What did I tell you about that? Please, boys, for me? You wouldn't want to disappoint your old ma'am, would you? You can't say that. We know better than to get on your bad side. Looks like we're taking a sabbatical then. What's that? Splitting up, you mean? Righto, might as well, eh? How many times? We're not flipping splitting up. I mean, we have to take a break for a bit, honestly. Thank you, Smiley. Thank you, Shirley. Don't thank us. Thank ma'am. It was her idea. To ma'am, anyway. Well, let Drippy Boy know if we find anything. Thank you. Speaking of Drippy, where is he? He slipped off. Probably gone to say bye to all the boys in town. Mr. Drippy, righto, you're off. Me? Uh, yes ma'am. We have to find our next great sandwich. Of course you do, love. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. In it? 
Fanciest spell or two we going on your way? I'll do a spinach wrap with hummus, cucumber, lettuce, chicken, and Greek dressing. That sounds just spectacular. I'm going to have to get that out. All because Austin said so. I'm going to have to do it. Oh, yeah? I guess. I mean, yes, please, ma'am. Received shape shift. Or shift shape. And second self. Hashtag influencer. Absolutely. I still gotta, I gotta rent that movie that you were talking about. What was it? Um, No Hard Feelings. And Mimic. Vanish. Where cat? We can be a cat? I the your your wizard Harry was just a joke. It wasn't meant to be I'm turning into Professor McGonagall. Yes. Where fish? I can be a fish too? And a mouse? No. And as big as a mouse. Shrink. Open mind. Loaf of life. Poison apple. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of spells. <laughs> it sure is. Thank you so much, ma'am. And they're all proper useful ones, too. Well, useful to fairies, at least. Still, I'm sure there's one or two in there that you, you can make use of, love. Oh, Ryder. Austin. Oh, I called you Ryder. Austin. Um, I actually got in a bunch of soap supplies yesterday, day before yesterday, so I will be doing another one of those streams. So, I'm excited for that. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is, but I'm super excited for it. You can't wait. I, I do need to order, like, a cheap camera. There's, like, a secondary camera. Because, I mean, I didn't think last time it was too bad, but I I feel like there should be like a top-down angle. I feel like that would be a little bit better, but I don't I don't know. I just feel like people like to see the top-down angle and stuff where you can actually see everything being mixed. Top-down, so like... The camera would be above me, or sitting above where I'm working, so everyone can see, like, from a bird's eye view, what I'm doing, as opposed to, like, from the front. We'll have a look later. We need to get moving. Come on. We've wasted enough time. Let's find Lantern Face and get back to the boat. Your joke. I just got your joke. <laughs> I'm a little slow, okay? I'm tired. The joke landed. It just landed very late. <laughs> You're right. We need to get back on trail to the Great Sage. Oh, my God. I'm still a little sick. It's still still got my brain a little, a little flustered. We sure do. Goodbye, ma'am. Goodbye. Hurrah, my lovers. Pop by anytime. Drippy left you? What? How much? Oh. <laughs> Look at Mr. Drippy. Come on, don't go get it all soppy on me. Oi, I thought I told you to... He doesn't have a caring side after all. Hmm. Family's family, I suppose. Mr. Drippy. This is where you need to be. Shall we go? Maybe we should. This is where he belongs after all. Yeah. It is. Names. Captain Shaba Senba. Oliver, thank goodness. Tell me that you at least found somewhere to shelter at night. We did. And we brought a ton of food, too. There's a little village on this island. A village, you say? And food? Also, I'm pleased to learn this. And you will now be pleased to learn that me and my men have 
completed their repairs to the ship. She's ready to sail upon your command. Shall I give the order to weigh anchor? Austin, ha uh, will you be on later tonight? I think, yeah, we're good to leave Tahiti. Hmm. Are you troubled? I feel... Have you left something behind in the forest? No. No, we're ready to go. Very well. We sail. I miss little Drippy. We did the right thing, right? Didn't we? Of course. Family is the most important thing there is. We all know that. And besides, he's no spring chicken. It's probably about time he settled down. And you still got us, Oliver. The three of us can do it, this if we work together. I guess so. Oi. Hmm, did you hear that? Huh. Oh, he's not letting us leave him. Mr. Drippy. Are you forgetting someone? Ah, ah, you, I'm pooped, man. You trying to leave me with, leave without me or something? But Mr. Drippy, you, th we thought you wanted to stay back there in the fairy ground. Who told you that? And when exactly? I want names, dates, times. We just thought all of your friends are back there. Of course they are. And they're very near and dear to me. Even the stupid ones. But you and me? have been a team since you were a little -y. And I was just a doll. In it, Ollie boy? I've even been your sidekick through thick and thin. Remember what you said? You said I was your friend. You lot are my friends, my companions, my brothers and sisters, my family. Uh, I'm going to be sick. Shut at you. What I mean is, you lot are stuck with me whether you like it or not, so get that into your thick skulls, will you? Yes, ma'am. Or, yes, sir, Mr. Drippy. Hmm. We were only trying to be nice after what we heard you say about your friends yesterday. Oh, so it's my fault now, is it? I get it. You don't think I've been pulling my weight. It's fine. I'm going to start using a little trick I know that'll blow your tiny minds. <clears throat> tiny tears. <laughs> that's that's nice. I can't wait to see this. Anyway, it looks like the gang is all here. Shall we get back to what we were supposed to be doing? What he said is to Hamlin in the next great sage, Anamina. Atemna. Here we come. Let's go. Trippy, join you again. The brazen presumptuousness, the brazen presumptuousness of the tear fairy's heart has unlocked a story in the wizard's companion. That's impressive. The eye of the storm. Until now, the use of this most ancient of magics was the sole privilege of the overseers of this world. Was it too much for you, perhaps? We granted you this privilege that you might finally dispose of the prophesied one. My apologies, your radiance. But the boy, he has a unique power perhaps or perhaps you simply lack the power to stop him perhaps Papers. forgive me your radiance majesty the boy is clearly protected by the most potent of magics who could it be the sage alicia i had wondered your radiance she who was foolish enough to stand against you. You think she troubles us even now, in the present? 
The power that protects him would suggest so. But he will need more than the Sage's aid to save the world. He cannot succeed without the weapon of the Ancients, the wand wrought by the Wizard King. Mornstar. Indeed. But we have no cause to fear its power. He will not find it. I have made that impossible. Making a wand disappear is the simplest of parlor tricks after all. You mean to say you have rid us of Mornstar? I have. The most enduring symbol of the Wizard King's rule now drifts free of time and space. Mornstar. Fashioned in the image of our own council's wands and bestowed upon humanity. Yet now, a mere hindrance. You are certain the boy cannot possess it? Not now, nor for all eternity. Well, that's unfortunate.